this winter sew your own panafre at home with simple techniques hi this is momo and you are watching momo beginner sewing let us start with the cutting first as you can see we are working with panafre pattern this is a simple panafre so today we are going to see something different with cutting as well as you can see this is my back bodice and its length is going to be 18.5 inch in length you are going to have the measurement card here as well and in description as well or soon you are going to have a download link as well for free pattern of one size I'm finishing up my cutting. For back bodice, I'm using the fabric which is much heavier than the normal cotton fabric and neither it's a denim nor it's a jeans but it's a heavy cotton fabric. it can be said as it will be it can be wear in winter as well with the shorts and jersey or high necks sorry for bother the lighting this is my front bodice this front bodice is going to be 16 in inch in length Panafre is a very beautiful thing. It has curves and arcs and different thing. So you must have pattern for that. It will be good for you if you have a pattern then it will be going to do a very good in behavior as well. I'm using a 16 inch or 18 inch which is going to be have a 16 inch in total size because the big size is going to be much lengthier in front of camera so i prefer a kid size when i'm shooting the video this is the inner pieces which is going to be under stitch this is also going to attach in the pattern sizes for rough idea this is half of the total bodice size the front part and the back part the front this is the front part inner part this is the front inner part which is going to be inside and this is the back inner part as you can see this is not a big deal for you you can half cut the bodice pattern as well and you will cut that same sizing you will got a little bit idea here that we are going to do under stitch and uh, if you are a regular user of us then you know how to do under stitch as well okay now we are start working with the seal and just doing on fold seal i'm just doing fold seal on the under inner bars This is just a simple seal you can see that Now now let us start with something different thing let's start let's work on the decoration part of the fanciness part of the dress As you can see this is the part which is not in the cutting phase because this is the extra thing this is the pocket basically and I am just attaching the bias tape along it and making it good looking thing as just going to give 
another dimension to the dress. Here you go, I'm just making a notches so it can revert back very smoothly. Here you go, you can see it as well. After doing that, I'm just making a single seam along it. Here's the second bodice which I'm completing. Second pocket, pardon. I'm just attaching the bias tape and making them beautiful. You can see that, that I'm just reverting back the bias tape which I have already done and just doing a simple seam on the neck, on the front edge. As you can see this is just a decorative part and fancy part. If you want you can watch video with fast track version or you can scroll a bit to 5 minutes later. But trust me this lining stuff with this pocket is going to be do something very different this this dress is going to on another level this panafre because it, there's two different things this is a simple panafre and it's going to make something very delicate as well and these two pockets are going to give a charm to this dress Here you go, I have found my zigzag sort of lace over here and this is also going to be a part of fanciness. So little bit time of fanciness is much required for every dress so it will go to the another level. Otherwise it is going to be very much simple and it can't be wear in the party in a casual way, uh, in a formal way or in a fancy way. It just needs some little bit tweaks which have. As you can see, I'm attaching this lace on the another side of the pocket. I know this is taking much time. I'm going to tell you a very very quick in a very quick way. So you can do a, for this stuff when while we are attaching it to the dress. So I'm not going to descriptively tell you. We are going to do this in a super fast way. You guys, uh, you guys can comment me in the comment box below for request of addresses. So uh, I will write it down and for the proceed to it. Okay, let me come up with my bodice part. As you can see, this is our bodice part. This is the front, and let me individualize one. yeah this is the one here you go so i'm just installing the first pocket on the front bodice as you can see i'm just sewing the edges of the pocket with bodice this is going to be very clean finish seam because it is going to appear on the front of your bodice and um, I'm just doing it, it roughly. You can mark it uh, according to your pain or your, or your print pa print pattern. So it will be lined according according to your dimensions or they line horizontally from the upper part of the body, uh, pocket. As you can see, I'm just reverting back the seam again. 
so it will look, give a very nice and strong seam because it is very much needed okay this is the second pocket and uh, let me explain you where I'm going yes okay this is the thing and I'm just going to seam it and from here and no further more instruction I'll just cut it out and let us come up with the under stitch part this is called the under stitch part and where you are going to attach the inner part of the bodice so this is the front bodice I'm just attaching the inner part on the front part and just giving a simple seam along with the edges along with the edges as you can see both front print part is opposite to each other and we are just seaming along the edges this is the most difficult part according to the seam stressors or serious but according to me if you see this video you are not going to be You are not going to have a hard time in this part of the sewing you are going to have a simple clean under stitch thing so when we are going to attach the, the, the front and the back bodies you just need to concentrate on the my voice and on the video which are bringing in front of you so just be careful we are in a hard time of our dress which is not to be a hard time which is going to be learning part as you can see I'm making a notches so it revert very beautifully I have used surgery very easily but you need to be very careful when you are going to surgery along with the corners as you can see I've just sharp it very nicely and make it a oval over on the edges uh, on the corners but uh, you need to be very careful and make it very delight cuts this is a back bodice and I'm going to attach the inner part of the back bodice along with it in with the same strategy the front print print part is, go, is going to face of both sides I'm just doing edges on the sides along with the sides actually if you have seen our old banafre this is go which is going to be soon uh, in on top of the chars uh, already uh, which uh, that one is too much difficult i'm telling you that and this one is too far easy for you guys so if you are lover of banafre then you are going to love this immensely I'm telling you that I'm just making a notches over here yes 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 I'm not just we are making notches and yet again I'm telling you be careful with your surgery I'm very much expert so don't harm yourself please this I'm reverting back the piece as you can see and picking out the corners of the brass you can use a thread clipper You can find a equipment guide on dresscraft.com which is as a sewing techniques article called as a sewing techniques where you can find a list of sewing material you need to start with the work okay this is the look when I have taken out the under stitch part and reverted back and uh, same uh, same thing I'm going to do for front bodice 
they are telling you that if you love the panoply then you are going to madly love it because this is a very much easy thing to do simple and cute and ready to wear in winters so no other choice for you if you are you are just going to love it i'm telling you that okay here you go so what we are going to do we are in a very deep important step just watch out my step i have just taken out the end of both under stitch part and seaming it along the edges covering the uh, covering the armhole and to till the end if you didn't get the step here just revert back to 1 minute back and come again or just pause just wait here i'm going to do it again for the other one side maybe you got it from here as well what i have done here you can see here you go this is i am just taking the sides okay pulling out the inner stitch meeting the inner stitch corners of both front and side, front and back and just seaming it seaming the side as you can see this is the yeah this is this is the inner part which is sewing over here and along with this 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 and this here you go and i've just crossed the bodice part and from inner part to front bodice or back bodice or whatever you can say i've just come along to that this is a very much technical thing which is not going to understand very easily but i have tried to explain you in a very simplest way if you got that then you are a champ sewist also if you are not get that you can try again and again this is not a very badly bad thing this is a very easy thing Uh, I know I am a specialization. I have a specialization of sewing, so I can say that. But when I when I am in the beginner phase, I feel that something is overwhelming for me. You will try to rewind, re back, replay this video again and again from particular part to particular part from under stitch part. Then you can know. Then you will know that this is going to be like this. Okay, so you don't need to worry. You just need to. follow me i'm just fi finalize the edges by doing a single seam along with the edges where we have done under stitch part this is also a final step of under stitch part so there is a three parts in under stitch number 1 we just do a simple stitch and do notches second revert, revert back and sew the both sides and the or seam the both sides and the third finalize the edges so we are done with our under stitch thing and the main panafre bodice is already ready we are just we are just finalizing the things over here oh i love this fabric i am just madly loved in this fabric the lining fabric it is Yes, and it is very smooth in wearing, as well. It is very much delicate, and it has very stiff kind of behavior when we are, when I'm going to when it uh, going to have on it when the girl is going to have on it. It is very it is going to very have very much stiff kind of behavior. so the panafre material should have a very much straight kind of fabric panafre need that that it should be stand like that so try to be find a fabric which should be stand like that like a je jeans or denim or heavy cottons so it can be wear in winter and you can also wear it in the spring and summer with, with, without a turtle neck shirt or any shirt you can also make it for yourself as well as you can as you know i have explained it in a 
starting of the video that I didn't do a girl or lady size uh, lady size material or sizes because it is very much not handy on the camera so I'm just finalizing the things over here the edges part is still going on and on and on and I'm just talking to you guys um, if you guys are boring then you can scroll a little bit further and just know what I'm going to do it now just or stay tuned with me this is uh, your time is precious I know but you are learning a few over here here you go just finishing the edges okay here you go this is the look and you can see that it's very beautiful and here you can do a buttonhole and just tuck the button and this will be ready to go and now we are going to do a bottom stitch because we didn't do that so I'm just folding it there is no laces and uh, bias tip we needed over here because Panafra itself is very beautiful and this is the two pockets are going to have it another dimension to it so I'm just making a simple fold seam along with the bottom you don't need anything in my suggestion don't put any lace or any bias tape over here because it is going to ruin your panafre stiffness so don't touch the fabric over on this point try to use custom things because custom things are always good it uh, will benefit you it will enhance your skills and you are going to learn much more so always try to experiment different different things so this is a simple panafre for winter wearing and for summer for all seasons you can wear it with turtle and with turtle neck shirt and with jeans and denims hope you guys like it comment it you are go soon you are going to have the pattern for only one size of course and paid version is going to be for different sizes from six months to maybe eight or nine months i don't know right now but uh, we are very thankful to you guys that you are supporting us very delightly and very nicely please support us try to be more friendly try to talk with us comment us comment with us comment us request us try to follow us on facebook come on dresscraft.com there's so many things special on dresscraft.com and here is the final panafre version this is the simple panafre so you are going to love it i hope you guys like it do tell us your suggestion in our comment box or if you like it just thumbs up and subscribe to us thank you so much guys bye Welcome.